What we're going to talk about today is something classically known as piriformis syndrome, or what I like to call sprained pelvis. What happens is the bones of the pelvis, the sacroiliac joint, actually separate and the ligaments get loose. And then what happens is the muscles around there, especially the piriformis, tightens up and it pinches off the nerves that go through there, usually the sciatic nerve, the inferior gluteal, and the superior gluteal, and sometimes the pudendal, affecting all the organs in that area. So what I'm going to explain to you today and show is the only way to fix this is that you have to belt the pelvis and support it. Just like when you sprain an ankle. You have to sit there and you put the bones in place, you fix the muscles, but you also have to go ahead and support it with a tape or a bandage. Same with the pelvis. Okay, now that we've explained what the piriformis syndrome, aka sprained pelvis is, let's demonstrate A, how to find it, and more importantly, how to fix it. So as I said, what happens is this pelvis actually spreads apart, it gets sprained, and the piriformis muscle tightens up and it impinges the nerves in the area. So the way to test the, the nerves that can get impinged is to test muscles. So we'll test the hamstring muscle for the sciatic nerve, push up, good. Now we'll test the gluteal, which is innervated or supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve. Pick up, and here we go. Try and push up, and there's nothing there. All right. Now we don't know the cause of that yet, but we'll see if it's from a piriformis syndrome. All right, to demonstrate, we'll try the right hamstring, push up against my hand, Good, strong hamstring. Pick up. Push up towards the ceiling. Good, strong glute. Okay, great. Now, we don't know yet if this is from a sprained pelvis. Now, whenever there's a problem in the body, two things will happen. Muscles will become inhibited or weak, and other muscles out the body will get tight. Because when the body is experiencing stress, such as problems with the nerves or muscles, it will tighten up. So I always like to do range of motion. In this case, we'll do the quadricep, and you could get a ruler and measure the distance, or you can just eyeball it. So you can do it several times to see if the patient's loosening up, but they're not. Remember, doctors, flexibility is a function of the nervous system, not the muscular system. So you can sit here and stretch, and eventually it might loosen up eventually, but you want to see if you can take stress off the body. All right, so now we have an idea, again, to get a visual, pick up, push up towards the ceiling, and no. No good. So what you want to do is take the belt, and in this case we're using a very fine belt from Sorolla Biomechanics, and what we're going to do is have the patient find the sacroiliac joint, pick up please, and you make it as snug as you can, good, and then you take the next two parts, now remember, this is just for demonstration. When the patient gets up, you show her how to put this on properly. So you give it about 10 seconds, and this is your challenge. You are now approximating the sacroiliac joints. If this weak gluteal is as a consequence of the piriformis being tight, secondary to the pelvis being too loose, this muscle will now test stronger. Let's find out. Bend, pick up, push up towards the ceiling, and voila, it's immensely stronger. Push it. I mean, before she couldn't even hold it up. This is what applied kinesiology brings to the table. You don't guess. We now know her back pain, probably her sacral pain. If she was getting any sciatica, anything with the pudendal nerve going to the front of the body, it is because of this. Now, let's see how the rest of the body likes it. If this is what she needs, she should now enjoy more flexibility. And you can see she does. Again. And it'll be globally. That was more on this side because that's where the impingement was, but it also relaxes here. And if we flip the patient over, the hamstring would demonstrate a range of range of motion also. And that's how you know what you're doing is right for the patient. So you can put this on. The patient should wear it for about three weeks, especially when she's sitting or driving. And I promise you, most of your chronic low back, glute, pelvic, ovary, um, uterine problems, even problems with the bladder, leg problems. If you have not been able to take care of them yet, try this out right now and order your belt from Sorolla Biomechanics and you'll get fixing a higher level of the population and that's what being a doctor is all about. You keep growing, you keep flowing, and you keep glowing and you keep fixing as many people as you can. Stay healthy and stay positive.